Thank you, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the first ever Kelly's. I'm your host, Daniel Kelly. Let's get right into it with our first award for best producer goes to, it's Daniel Kelly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd like, okay, first of all, I'd like to thank myself for this award. I'm, I'm just the best. I apologize about that, folks. Uh, Daniel actually isn't your host tonight. It's me and Cooper here. And the Golden Eagles are all about you, the seniors. I'm Luke Schrader. And I'm Cooper Cruzero. And this is the Golden Eagle Awards. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back, Bishop Carroll. My name is Nathan Steiner, and we have some special guests here for you today. The creators of the senior video for the class of 2021. Here are Chloe Shuckman, Lexi Bybee, and Anna Steven. Hi, I'm Anna Steven. Uh, I helped put the videos together and edit the senior video. I'm really excited to be helping with the senior video this year. Hi, my name is Chloe Shuckman. I helped film for the video, and I'm excited to have something for us to look back on for our senior year. Hi, I'm Lexi Bybee. I also helped film for the senior video. Uh, let's roll the clip. And we're back to kick off our exciting continuation of the Golden Eagle Awards, made by the seniors, for the seniors. That's right, Luke. You're probably wondering why we're in a different location. That's because Daniel blew the budget with a little stunt. But that's not important. What is important is our first real award of the night, the Mostest Inspirationalist Scarf Award. This award, as the name implies, goes to the senior who has inspired us with their best crocheted scarf. Truly, scarves are what keeps us stitched together through these tough times. The toughest of times. When the world was beating us down with a plague only seen by the likes of Moses, we had crocheting. Crocheting is the driving force behind world peace. It keeps us tied together. It makes us feel like winners. And the senior who has won our Mostest Inspirational Scarf Award goes to Gabe Ochoa. Tune in after the break to see an award that you'll look up to. Hello, Bishop Carroll. I'm Claire Weber. And I'm Kylie Moberly. Wow, I can't wait to watch the whole senior video. I know, me too. It's going to be so good. I wish we could go back and see what we looked like when we were freshmen. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go back and see what I looked like three years ago. We've all changed and it's a little scary. Oh yeah, I wish I could go back and give little freshman Claire some advice. Me too. It would have helped me get through sophomore year. Well, we have a special segment for you guys. It's called Diary to Incoming Freshmen. Take a look. What do you wish you would have known as a freshman? Um, not to procrastinate. Homework doesn't really matter that much. I'd say make lots of friends at every party you go to. <laughs> so I would just say don't do the study guys, just go on Quizlet or Sparknotes. They would help you to pass those tests. I guarantee you that. Make sure your name is JD and everyone will love you. Walk with purpose and don't make upperclassmen mad. YOLO. Pray you get Barber senior year. <laughs> Find a teacher that will write you late passes whenever you need it. <laughs> Stay far, far away from Mr. Pinkerton. <laughs> What's some advice to incoming freshmen? Um, live your life to the fullest and talk to that boy, okay? Do it. Do everything. Talk to everyone. Don't be afraid to reach out and make new friends. Nobody is as scary as they look. Do your homework and don't procrastinate. Lay low and don't cause any problems. Do not arm wrestle a girl during the first football game at Carroll. Any thoughts? No comment. <laughs> Keep your lanyard so then when you're a senior, you have four instead of one. Uh, yeah, to get big, you gotta have Joey as a coach, you know. Uh, don't get 22 demerits your freshman year. <laughs> Keep an extra pair of Sperry's in your locker. It doesn't because someday you're gonna forget and you're gonna wear your tennis shoes or your friend will and they will squeeze into your six size Sperry's that you have in your locker so they don't get a demerit. It'll save lives, I promise you. Um, my advice is to not let fear control your high school experience and to just like continue to put yourself out there even when um, it makes you feel uncomfortable and especially then. Freshman guys, just take your date to the dance in a tractor. Uh, get out of your comfort zone and get involved, uh, meet new people, build relationships, it'll pay off and it's all worth it. Stay crispy my freshman. And we're
we're back with the next award for the Golden Eagles. Wow, well, you must suck at concerts. I can't see a thing. Speaking of being annoyingly tall, our most vertically gifted award goes to the senior who makes basketball look like a children's game. It was a tall order deciding who should win this monumental award. The height this individual has is a blessing and a curse. Being able to grab virtually anything off of the shelves without having to get a stool, while also being the butt of countless how's the weather up there jokes. Yeah, I completely understand. As a fellow tall person, I'm proud to present the winner of our most vertically gifted award. And the winner is... Zach Dowell. We'll see you after a small intermission. Oh, I get it, because you're small. Nice. Caroline, what's something you wish you have done in high school? Well, I wish I didn't wear a green shirt today. Hmm, let's see what other seniors wish they were down in high school. I wish I was an MC for the pep rally. Our first game today will be musical chairs. I wish I was mic'd up for a baseball game. How tall are you, Paul? 6'1". We all know that's not true. What? You're like no more than 5'7". Joy looks like a blobfish. Oh, Strimmel got, oh, Strimmel got nailed. Okay, Strimmel. Hey, pitching, pitching. Ebert makes me pitch. Oh, I've been my best throw all year. Hope the ladies are watching. And there's a lot of girls here. Should I chuck this one? Oh, I think I should. I think they're all watching. Pitch has got the worst hair on the team. Best hair. Best hair might be. It might. It might be Coop. Oh, Strim's got some nice hair. Kind of feels weird just getting the camera pointing at you the whole time. I'm gonna be honest. She's just staring at me. I wish I could take a trip on the Gator with Slade around the school. We're all about granting senior wishes. Let's see if we can find some cars that are illegally parked to bring into action. This looks like a student's car and they're in a faculty parking spot. We're gonna try. Well done, well done. One thing I wish I did in high school was play football. Every quarterback needs to get warm up. I was getting recruited, you know. Coach Trail wanted me. Oh, look at that pass. Oh my gosh. Getting no help out here. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Look at that. Better than Aiden. Put me on the starting roster right now. Right now. Honestly, lefties are just better athletes. Oh gosh. That's money. Money. Floss the shoe. We wish we would have done, done swing dance, dance club. club. So one of the basic moves is going to be this. All right. And then we go into what's called the bow tie. And it's going to go out. And the guy is going to spin the girl behind his back. Tie them. <laughs> yeah. You go like this. Yeah. Forward. All right, and then you're gonna take this arm, okay. and you're gonna lift it over your head, and, and then you fall back like that. This one, yeah. And then flip up. <laughs> and this is why we have safety nets. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back once again to the most prestigious award show this windowless prison has to offer. You're gonna want to hold on to your magic wands because this next award makes even Gandalf look like a joke. Our Sickest Wizard Award goes to the senior who can trick even the sharpest of eyes with their dark arts. That's right, Luke. And now for the grand reveal. Our Sickest Wizard Award goes to... I don't have the card. Do you have it? I thought you were presenting the award. Is this your card, gentlemen? Shia Kazi! Dude, what just happened? I don't know, but I got the award, right? I guess. Um, so the award for the sickest wizard goes to Josh Vo. Wait, do you think that was part of his plan? We still haven't given him the award yet. Thanks. Honestly, Cooper, I'm past the point of asking questions. Excuse us, we need a moment to process what just happened. Join us after the next segment for our final award. Hey there, Bishop Kara. I'm Nate Dow. And I'm Austin Dow. Hey Nate, have you seen the recent TikTok trend of people putting what their teachers say into inspirational quotes? No, that sounds very interesting. Well, we got a treat for you because we got a whole segment full of our teachers saying their inspirational quotes. Roll the clip. Make them away downtown. 
Walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound Staring black we had, just making a way, making a way through the crowd And I need you, and I miss you Hey Bishop Carol, I'm Carolyn Behrens. And I'm Diana Datu. Those inspirational quotes were hilarious. Yeah, Father Ez was definitely my favorite. We have a lot of interesting teachers at Carol. In fact, we have the Mr. Skaggs for our next segment. In this segment, Mr. Skaggs will give some heartwarming thank you notes to some very memorable senior students. Take it away, Mr. Skaggs. Hey guys, I know I gave you way too much homework than you should have the last couple weeks here, but uh, I got some thank you notes that I need to take care of, you know, I know just the Rona, it's just crazy, right? So just, yeah, no, you can't go to the bathroom, just work, I know it's strange, okay. All right. Thank you, Matt Morell, for always wearing your mask so I didn't have to send you down to the office to shave your cheesy mustache. Thank you, Isaac Herrera, for never being able to stay in class. We'll miss you, bud, and your ball cap. Thank you, Guillermo Sosa, for teaching me the new lingo. Stay lit, guys. Thank you, Grant Lloyd, for being so skilled in my class, you can learn with your eyes closed. Thank you, Preston Rottinghouse, for showing us that leaders can come from anywhere. Thank you, Big Sean Krause, for always being the standard of positivity and optimism during this year of the Rona, especially on those hybrid Fridays. There you go. All right, guys, wipe down your tables. The bell's gonna ring. This is it, folks. The moment I'm sure you've all been waiting for. We know you're on the edge of your seat for this last award. And in typical award show fashion, we'd say the best for last. Our best picture award goes to the senior who has had some truly astounding pictures taken of them during their time here at Carroll. We here at the Golden Eagles have spent numerous hours deliberating on the best picture from this senior. Hundreds, if not thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pictures were combed through, all which were prize-worthy to a degree. But in the end, we could only decide on one. One picture that we felt captured the essence of what this person was all about. And I'm proud to present the winner of our Best Picture Award, Jacob Fawnensteel. And here's the picture that won him this distinguished award. Well, that's all the time we have for the Golden Eagle Awards. Make sure you tune in next year, or don't. Probably won't be another one. Yeah, this probably won't do well enough to get a continuation. Half of you watching aren't even paying attention anyways. Ah! Ah!